Hey everyone, welcome to the tax show for people who owe. I'm Dave. And I'm Phil. And today we're gonna celebrate tax season by helping you choose the most qualified tax preparer this year. So Phil, let's start off with educating everyone on what it takes, the minimum standards for someone to be able to take payment and file a return on a taxpayer's behalf. The minimum requirement is having a PTIN, which stands for Preparer Tax Identification Number. Wow, that sounds like an arduous process. What does it take to get one of these PTINs? Um, David, it's actually an application and $35 in fees. That's it? That's it. Man, that sounds like a pretty easy qualification. So how many of these PTINs are floating out there? Uh, roughly 780,000 PTINs are out wow, there. That's a lot. And so, what do we suggest when a taxpayer is looking to find a qualified tax preparer? So if it was my return, a P10 wouldn't just cut it. I would okay. be looking for some sort of certification, and some examples of them are, in California, we have our CTEC. Okay. Um, we have tax attorneys who are barred into respective states. Um, enrolled agents, which is a federally recognized license before the IRS, and last but not least, CPAs. So that's a step above the traditional P10. And mm -hmm. do, do these credentialed folks still have P10s? Uh, yes, because obviously you need the, that's the bare minimum. You need that to file a, okay. uh, your tax returns for compensation. Got it. So this is another level of confidence for those who are looking to make a decision for their tax preparer. All right, Phil, I'm gonna ask you to list three red flags that our taxpayers out there should avoid when choosing a tax preparer. What are the reasons they should run? Give me number one. Top on my list is definitely a guaranteed refund because there's no way any tax preparer, no matter how good they are, is going to know ahead of time before they see your documents. Rapid fire, number two. Number two is if this seems like a seasonal shop where maybe they're renting a WeWork space or something <laughs> temporary and closing up for nine months of the year, I would be hesitant. Good point. Number three. Uh, last but not least, refusal or hesitancy to sign the return that they prepared for you. That's a big one. Great, great points there, man. You did that fast. Good job. So one of the things, if you're having some concerns this year and wondering where you should go as a taxpayer to file a return the right way, you can always download our app and request tax help that way. We only employ credentialed tax preparers here at Optima, hundreds of them. So Phil, any last words for those who are filing their tax return this year? As usual, do something, but maybe when picking a tax preparer, do some due diligence. Great suggestion. Thank you for joining us today. We'll see you next time. Hey everyone, thank you for joining us. Be sure to like and subscribe to all of our YouTube videos. And if you need more information on Optima Tax Relief, please go to our website, optimataxrelief.com.